Hey, what's good, YouTube? Welcome to a Perky on the Motto. It's your boy, Perk Dog, and today I want to show you a little tip and trick for those of you who use native instruments in order to download the installation files and keep them permanently on a separate hard drive so that way you don't have to go to native access and keep re-downloading if you move to like a new computer or whatever, right? So I'm like one of those guys who I, I like to keep the installation files on a hard drive so that way if I ever lose internet connection for some reason and I get a new computer, then I'm good to go. So I'm just crazy like that, I guess. But let me show you what I mean, right? So here we have native access and you can see there just came out an update. Um, and so actually in my case, what I'm going to do is update the old installation file. So I see we have byte 1.3.1 and we have byte 1.3.3 available, right? And so if I want to get this installation file and keep it permanently on my computer, um, I'm going to show you how that's done. And the first thing you want to do is go to settings and then go to file management and then copy the uh, link. So it goes to this folder. So we're just going to hit copy and there we go. And we're going to go back over to explore and hit paste it and enter, right? So then the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we see the file size is 49 megabytes, so it doesn't give us a huge window of time for it to download before the download finishes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this update button and it puts the file right there. So you're gonna rename it real quick by double clicking and what it does is it saves the file and prevents um, the file from being deleted. The next thing we'll do is come over here and go to WinRAR and hit extract and it extracts the file and there we go. So what we're going to do is copy that file and go back to the original folder and paste it in there and we delete the old file and now we can have the access to the uh, update, you know, the latest version. And uh, that's pretty much how it's done. So uh, I, of course, have to go back here and uh, once you do this to the file, it doesn't install it because you renamed it. But basically, like I showed you in the video, you have to rename the file very quickly unless it's like a very large download, like Replica right here is 107 megabytes. So the download process is gonna take a while uh, so you can quickly rename the file by renaming the file it prevents the system from automatically deleting the file Otherwise if you don't rename the file what the system does is it unpacks it installs it and then deletes the file for you So you basically you you install the program, but you lose access to the installation file But if you're neurotic like me and like to keep the installation files on a big hard drive Then that's how you do it so that's pretty much it guys I just wanted to share that cool tip with you and like I said I have all the installations for every single native instrument uh, synth and effect ever made so it's it's pretty cool it's pretty handy anyway that's about it uh, thanks for watching uh, I'll see y'all in the next video